I've got another leak. Hi. So, as many of us know, RVs leak, and I have a couple of lights right up top that are letting some water in. I think I'm just going to replace them, not even reseal them, because they're just old incandescent bulbs. So I'm going to upgrade them to some LEDs. They're going to look nicer, brighter, and just be way more efficient when it comes to power consumption. So let me show you what I got up top. Getting some water entry from these three right up top. When it downpours, all the water off the roof sheds straight down here, hits these little lights, and also sometimes gets forced down right here. I did throw in a ton of sealant right here, so that kind of slowed it down, but I want to figure out a way to maybe build a gutter system to shed water away from the lights and also this glass right here. So that's what we're going to work on today. Hi, Toshi. making a video. So that's the plan for the day. Replace these lights with nice new LEDs and try to figure out how to manufacture or fabricate some kind of gutter system to deflect water. So as you can see, they lit up a ton of sealant right here to kind of channel the water away from the lens. So right there we have a little 12 volt incandescent light bulb. As you can see, there's been some water entry because this is all rusted out. So, pretty pumped to get this thing fixed. Oh, oh. I need you. bunch of old putty and some lap sealant right up here and there's the entry hole so let's try to clean this up so what you're looking at right here is a piece of rain trim that would go around Daddy. the door but we're gonna use it to shed the water off the roof. It's gonna go parallel to these holes right here. That 3M VHB tape that everyone swears by. So let's see if this thing can actually hold this piece of trim down. So it's been a few weeks now, and happy to say that little gutter right there totally fixed the problem. No more water entry. It's about time to get these clearance lights installed. Picked up these lights on Amazon. Seems to be the going trend with a lot of people who are doing conversions. They use this item. Pretty inexpensive, and they are super bright. I installed these connectors right here, which I probably should have did after the fact because now I have to cut a hole that's accommodating for this connector instead of something this small for the wire. And we're through. So I just made a hole with just a standard drill bit and now I'm going to use one of these step bits to get a nice clean hole on the exterior. Um, something big enough to fit my cables through. Just gonna use our step bit and drill right through. I 
believe that's gonna be big enough right there to fit my connectors. I don't wanna go any larger than that hole. So we have all of the clearance lights installed and we have some sealant around them, butyl tape and some flex or something or other. What do we got? Pro flex. Butyl tape, pro flex installed all around those clearance lights. Power cables popping out right there with the little pigtails. Now I'm gonna run a good length of spool right here. This is gonna be the very first lamp and it's gonna have a male and female connection and then it's basically just gonna get daisy chained all the way through and then plug into the main lights somewhere down here. So we have the wiring set up right now for the clearance lights. Currently just have it hooked up to my little gold zeal right here is a test rig. So we're gonna flick it. Yeah. Totally like how this came out. So pumped with the results. Those clearance lights are way brighter than the last set um, and they're way more efficient also. Probably gonna end up closing up this wall in the next couple of days, so I'll tidy up the wiring while I'm doing that. I'm gonna let it go right here. Thank you so much for watching. Please keep commenting, liking, and subscribing. We'll see ya. Thanks.